Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Trends Automation Destination, this said Trends. So today we are going to discuss about Postbot, which is an AI assistant provided by Postman. It has multiple features that we will be covering as part of current lecture and will utilize those features during the API workflows. Who all can use it? Postbot is available for the trial purpose and can be utilized on all Postman plans with a limited number of activities per user each month. After that, we can go for the licenses. I'll be sharing the official documentation where you can find more details about the licenses. Now, what are the features of Postbot? So, it can add test scripts for the API that we are hitting. Then, it can generate the documentation, which is the crucial part. It can debug the request in case we are getting the unexpected output. We can visualize the response using the chat, this Postbot, sorry, and we can get some uh, random help related to Postman on this particular uh, Postbot. Okay, so now let us try to add test script. Right before that, what we will do, we will refer one sample API. So what I'm going to refer, let me refer this REQ RES, which is a dummy site with the dummy data, right? And if you go, these are the endpoints. So what I can do, so it has multiple endpoints. So if I'll click on list users, it will open this. Now I'm going to click on this. As soon as I'm clicking on this, it will hit the endpoint and we will get the response. Now the same thing, I'm going to use it into the Postman, okay? In Postman, first of all, this is the Postman that I'm using, right? I'm using the latest version as of uh, September 2024. I'm going to click on new or before that, what we can do, we can create one collection. And uh, once we have added the collection, Next thing is we can rename it, rename it to let us say Postbot, right? And then after what we can do, we can add some method. So let us go here and add request. After that, what we need to do, we need to provide this URL and we can provide the uh, name of the endpoint, right? So what we are doing, if I go back, so I'm trying to get the user, right? So list of users. So let us provide it name list of users, list of users, right? When I will hit this endpoint, I will get some response, right? So you see that I'm getting response 200K, right? After that, what you need to do, you need to click on this particular script section. And in this, we have post response. And you will see when this, uh, this post bot, you need to click on post bot and then after if you will notice in script section, we don't have any test cases so far, right? And we don't have the test results also, right? So what we can do, we can add the test to this particular request. So we can use anything. So let me add test to this particular request, right? So as soon as we will hit this, it is saying that we are working on it. And you will observe that it has added a number of test cases, right? And corresponding to that, it has provided the response as well. Right now it is showing five test cases. So what we can say, let us add more test cases, right? Now it was five. Let us see how many test cases it will add more, right? Now it has added 10 more test cases. And if you will scroll, so it is able to add the test cases and it is showing the corresponding results as well, right? So for all the test cases, it is getting passed, right? So this is how we can generate the test cases or test script for a particular endpoint using the post bot, right? Now, the next thing is write API documentation. Writing the API documentation for a particular API is a crucial, crucial step, right? So let us discuss how we can generate the documentation, right? So for that purpose, I'm again going back to Postman, okay? So you see that we can click on this add documentation or what we can do, we can click on this endpoint and then after here somewhere you will find this documentation link and you will see add description generate with postman right postbot sorry so as soon as we are we clicked on this it opened this postbot window and it is saying that i have updated the description of the request to include the request and response body as well as documented the response as a json right now let us minimize it and see the description or let us close it right so what it is saying, it is saying, what is this request for, right? And it is talking about body. It does not contain any body. This is the response that we are getting after hitting it. And 
these are the different parameters right so this is how we can generate the documentation quickly right now the next thing is debug api request so sometimes we get the unknown error so for that purpose what i will do is i will turn off my internet right so let me disconnect my internet and let us try to hit this particular endpoint once again right so when i will hit this endpoint at this time i will get unknown error right but in your case you can get at any point of time so you see that i am getting this particular unknown error but to generate the response what i will do i will again uh, connect to the data, uh, connect to internet i mean right now what i'm going to do i'm going to postman and you see what's wrong so you see it is showing this postbot icon as well right this is the postbot icon so if i'll click on this it is saying it is sh uh, sharing the response to the connection was forcibly closed by the server you are trying to call try checking the server logs if you are running this service that you are testing if you don't have access to the service logs contact the api owner so we can get the respective resolution as well for a unknown error right now for example uh, what is the next feature so uh, write api documentation and debug api request so we debug when we are getting the unknown error right now the next thing is how to visualize the response right now what i'm going to do as uh, we are getting the response so let us hit this endpoint once again and we will get the response right and in response let us click on body and here we see visualize right and in this visualize option we will see a uh, validate response with cost bot right so i will select this option and i can get the response in the form of table right so it is saying that i am working on it and i can get the response right i have added a table for the for visualizing so whatever the response are available it is showing the response in the form of table right now for example if i want to change the response so i can say change the visualization to bar graph so it should show the response in bar graph it is support if it is supported so let us see so you see we are getting the response in the form of bar graph right so this is how we can visualize the response using postbot okay now the next thing is how to get help from postbot so we can get postman related help from postbot so what i will do i will simply go here in the postbot i can click on this and i can click on this particular i will see this particular chat window i can expand it and if i'll say what is 401 status code it will tell us what is 401 status code so you see it is saying 401 status code indicates the client must authenticate itself to get the request response so similarly i can ask 401 versus 403 right so it will tell us the difference between 401 and 403 as well right so but if for example if i'll ask something different let us say rest assured right let us see if is if it is able to respond on this right i was not able to find direct answer to your question check out these potentially useful resources right so uh, it will be able to answer the question related to postman so this is how we can get the uh, help from postman uh, postbot sorry right so this is what i want you to cover let us quickly recap what we have covered so we discussed about postbot which is an ai assistant assistant of postman and we can add test script and then then after after adding the test script we can see the results as well which is the postman feature but adding test script using postbot this is a, a feature of postbot then we discussed about how to generate documentation for api request then we discussed about how to debug a particular request in case we are getting some error and uh, then we discussed about how to visualize the response that we are getting and we discussed about the help that we can get from the postbot so this is what i wanted to cover guys thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again